Hello everyone, welcome to a quick video about the new Thrustmaster TCA Quadrant Airbus Edition. Thrustmaster have been kind enough to send me a free copy and so I've been able to test this over the last couple of days. This is the second add-on being released from the TCA Airbus Edition series, the first one being the side stick. And on their website we can see a picture where apparently they are planning to release further add-ons for the TCA Airbus Edition series. That's probably the reason, in my opinion, why the thrust lever quadrant is kept somewhat smaller in order for all the add-ons later on to fit nicely onto the table clamp or flying clamp as it's called on their website. Even though I would have preferred a metal finish, uh, the plastic finish is still of good quality and I was very positively surprised by how smooth the thrust levers actually move and that is due to the so-called heart i.e. the Hall Effect Accurate technology, which uses magnetic sensors. And the huge advantage of this is that the um, precision won't decrease over time. And if you wish, you can also adjust the overall friction of the thrust levers. The TCA Quadrant comes with realistic detents for climb, flex MCT and toga. And those detents can be synchronized perfectly with the FS Labs A320 series, for example, or the Tolis uh, A319, A321. Another very nice feature is the reverser function, which includes the unlocking mechanism, and that uh, stops the inadvertent activation of the reverse thrust. However, if you wish, you can actually deactivate the reverse thrust function so that you have a larger range for the thrust levers themselves. On the quadrant, you'll also find two engine master switches uh, to switch on and off the engines. And also you'll find the engine mode selector, which you'll need to select for engine start, uh, normal mode or the crank mode. On the quadrant, you'll also find some connectors, for example, for the TFRP rudder system, which is sold separately. And on the bottom, you will find uh, several features like the mechanical selectors. And this allows you to actually deactivate or disable the detents uh, notches for each of the thrust lever axes. And last uh, but not least, you'll find the SATA connectors for external TCA quadrant add-ons, which will be sold separately. In the box, you'll find also a crossbar, which allows you to connect both throttles together You'll find, of course, a USB connector cable. And also you'll find some connectors, including the screws, in order to help you connect additional add-ons, which will be coming out later. What is possible, however, already is that you can connect two of the TCA quadrants together in order to have four thrust levers. As I've mentioned earlier, I've had the chance to test the TCA quadrant uh, in the FS Labs aircraft. Also in X-Plane um, I tested this setup in the TOLIS and uh, everything worked as advertised. Uh, the setups were fairly straightforward. There was only a smaller issue uh, when using FSUIPC but there is uh, a workaround and uh, after the setup has been completed correctly um, everything works like I said as advertised. So the pros of this uh, setup are definitely an improved immersion into the flight sim, especially of course when using the Airbus series. And I particularly like the reverse thrust function, which I've never been able to use properly before. Um, and this is uh, modeled very nicely here. I also like the very smooth movements of the thrust levers. So even very small adjustments in thrust are managed uh, very nicely here. Uh, downside is the range of manual thrust is fairly small, um, so it does take a, a little bit of getting used to. But who knows, maybe you're one of those pilots that uses the standard operating procedure that you'll have the auto thrust activated until uh, shortly before touchdown, and so then you'll have no issues whatsoever. The fact that uh, Thrustmaster are planning to bring out further add ons. As mentioned before, including the Ooh. flap lever assembly and also the uh, spoiler lever assembly is exciting news. And uh, if you have the complete setup one day, I'm sure that uh, the complete immersion into the flight sim will be uh, very, very nice. 50. One more 40. thing to mention is uh, 
While producing this video in October 2020, Thrustmaster have said that they are sad to inform that the quadrant at this present time is not integrated in the Microsoft Flight Simulator yet. However, that should be uh, fixed in the uh, next patches and so then you can uh, also enjoy this add-on in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. Okay, and that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this little review of the TCA Quadrant from Thrustmaster.